Now, Melvin Upton, clearly, he's a premium athlete. He's been in the big leagues for 12 years, so you kind of expect those types of men to be able to make those types of plays, but it starts at an early age, and there are some fundamentals and mechanics that any young player can incorporate, aren't there? There is, you know, and it, it comes with practice. Like, when I played, it was my favorite thing to do is go over and take a home run back, and when I was in the big leagues with the Orioles, my first team, we used to practice this every day in batting practice, going over the fence. In, when we would take fly balls after infield, catch balls over the fence so it's something you have to practice and there are mechanics of it and you have to work on them to be able to do it and, it's, and you can do it in a controlled environment with someone throwing it up against the wall but the way Melvin Upton did it last night on television if you can get that record it and hang on to it it'll probably find it on YouTube and go back and reference that anytime you're making balls caught over the fence that's the way to do it all right we've got some little leaguers who are helping us but before we show them doing it and kind of see them behind us why don't you walk me through how it is you address that play. As soon as the ball's off the bat, you're in the outfield. How do you react? What do you the, think? The first thing I do when I get ready, I take a peek at the wall before the ball's thrown to home plate. That way you know where you are in reference to the wall. Now, when the ball's hit over my head, as I'm breaking, I see right here the ball's hit well. I'm going to get to the wall as fast as I can. That's the critical, critical part of this. You have to get to the wall as fast as you can, and you have to be able to find the wall and stay about an arm's length away. This arm's length away, and you saw Melvin Upton last night put his hand up as soon as he got here. That allows him, when he jumps up, you're going to jump up at an angle back this way to go catch it. Allowed him to get over the fence, reach over back, and catch the ball. Had he gotten too close, his shoulder would have hit it, and he would have had to go straight up, and he would have never had a chance to catch that ball. Okay, so for Melvin, being right-handed, he gets the chance to cross-body catch it. He gets the chance to cross-body catch it, yes. Okay, and when you're going through this uh, before the game, as far as getting oriented to your stadium... What do you think little leaguers should do? Should they pace off the distance to the wall from a warning track if there is one? How do you how do you prepare? Absolutely. You, you know, every field is going to be a little different. A lot of little league fields now, hopefully they have some warning tracks. But you have to get used to that distance of where you are, and you have to be able to take a peek at the wall as you get close. If you have a warning track, you count the number of steps till you get to the wall. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. The first thing you do, the most important, is you have to know where that wall is from where you start in the outfield and about how many steps it's going to take you to get there. All right, we've got some little leaguers here helping us out, so why don't we take a look at them, see if you can give them your professional critique and see if they're doing some of the mechanics that you're hoping that they will. What he's doing right now, you'll see him. He's getting back to the wall fast. He's seeing the wall. He's getting his hand out to make sure he doesn't get too close, and that allows him to be able to jump over and, and catch the ball right here, keeping, keeping away from it over and catch it, come back and ready to get it back to the infield. Because our job, once we get the ball in the outfield, is to get it back that way as fast as we can. What's the most important facet of being good at this task? Is it your vertical leap? Is it your timing? What is the innate ability that makes a good outfielder able to make this play? Practice. There you go. Practice. So it's you not innate. Have, it's something you can learn. It's something you can learn. And if you don't practice it, you're not going to be very good at it. Even if you're a great athlete, great athletes like Melvin Upton, they practice this play. We practice it in our head all the time. You have to think about making this play. And a lot of times, if you think about it, it's like practicing, literally like practicing out on the field. If you can visualize yourself doing it. So you don't have to always be on the field to practice this. You can do it in your home when you're sitting down thinking about it. So anticipation, one way to do 